Hello, everyone. I just want to give you a brief overview to the webinar series. Um, So this uh, webinar series uh, is, uh, you know, called the International Webinar Series on a broad topic of geoenvironmental engineering uh, that deals with polluted land, waste management, and sustainability and resiliency. And uh, I am uh, Professor Krishna Reddy, organizer of this webinar series. I am uh, in the Department of Civil Materials and Environmental Engineering at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Uh, this is my email address, you know, feel free to contact me, you know, if you have any questions at any time in the future. Uh, this webinar series is mainly uh, held every, every week on uh, Fridays, generally. And uh, these webinar series are covering a wide range of topics such as uh, land contamination, waste management, sustainability and resiliency. There are many broad issues related to all of these, um, you know, uh, topics. Uh, everyone is welcome to attend these webinars. Uh, I highly recommend um, masters, uh, MS, MTech, and PhD students, postdocs, and faculty in geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering, and other sciences fields so like in environmental chemistry, biology, you know, any other fields that are related uh, are welcome to attend also. Um, this webinar series started uh, mid-January 2021. Uh, we had uh, uh, several uh, webinars held during the month of January, February. Here is the list of those uh, webinars. Uh, we had a wide range of topics uh, given by um, expert speakers. Um, and then during the month of March and April, you know, we had uh, several uh, webinars also. Um, on a wide range of topics by expert speakers, and uh, you know many uh, attendees um, have uh, participated in these webinars. Uh, these uh, webinars have been recorded uh, with the permission of the speakers. Now they are available for viewing on this uh, YouTube channel. You can uh, search on Google "geoenvironmental engineering webinars." You should be able to um, see these and uh, you can view at your uh, leisure time. Uh, during May, June, we have uh, these webinars coming up. Uh, today would be the first uh, webinar. Um, and, but you can see other topics coming up uh, later this month and the next month. Um, and the reasons for attending these webinars, um, you know, I wanted uh, everyone to understand uh, diverse geoenvironmental problems that are uh, existing everywhere in the world. Uh, but you know, the problems uh, in, in each country are different. So it's very important to learn uh, what are the problems that are happening elsewhere and then relate those problems you know, to the place that where you are in. Um, and also to be aware of uh, research projects that are being performed to address these geoenvironmental problems. And these presentations will help to understand some of those projects. And also these uh, presentations will help you understand the research methodologies that are being used. So, you know, you can learn uh, not only the research projects that are ongoing, but you can learn the research methods that are being used to address the problems. Um, this webinar series is going to be extremely useful for graduate students, uh, young faculty, and professionals uh, to pursue geoenvironmental engineering research. I know a lot of uh, master's students and PhD students who do their uh, research. Uh, it will be nice to do research on uh, these emerging geoenvironmental engineering problems where solutions are much needed. Um, I understand, you know, there are uh, many. Um, master's students and many PhD students joining every year in the in many institutions all over the world uh, in geotechnical engineering or environmental engineering. Uh, even if a small percentage of uh, those students can pursue the geoenvironmental engineering problems, uh, we can you know, contribute a lot uh, to come up with the different uh, solutions. So um, if you are a student and looking for a um, uh, thesis topic, 
uh, think about this area um, and look at these webinars as um, background. And also, if you are a faculty member looking for uh, new areas of research to explore, uh, again, these webinars should be, it should be helpful. So I suggest this uh, re research in geonormal engineering because you know, there are problems to be really solved and your research will really have a, a practical impact uh, you know, um, in solving the problems. And also, you know, these webinars will help to create a network of geonormal engineering researchers. Now you, you know, joining these webinars, uh, so you know the speakers. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I created a, a email networking um, and also uh, social media networking. So, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to interact and, uh, you know, exchange information. And uh, if you have any questions, you can pose those and somebody from the network could be able to answer. So it's nice to, um, you know, share uh, or get information from uh, uh, researchers working in the, the same field. So uh, that can be accomplished by attending these webinars. Geoenvironmental engineering is a very exciting field. Um, it deals with all kinds of uh, issues dealing with waste management, non-hazardous or hazardous, it could be municipal solid waste, it's construction demolition waste, it could be mining waste, it could be radio, uh, you know, nuclear waste. So there are all kinds of waste that, you know, that needs to be um, addressed properly. So, you know, this general engineering deals with that. And um, uh, we have also contaminated sites, you know, contaminated the soil and groundwater. Um, at many locations uh, all over the world. So we need to clean up these sites because they're posing unacceptable you know, uh, risks to human health and the environment. So uh, what are the ways to clean up? How do you characterize these contaminated sites? So geo-environmental engineering you know, can play a major role in this. And then also the problems associated with environmental sustainability and resiliency, geo-environmental engineering can play a major role. You know towards the sustainability. You could think about um, uh, recycling of uh, waste materials uh, and uh, carbon sequestration methods, uh, uh, you know, uh, nature-based solutions, uh, you know, uh, greenhouse gas uh, mitigation uh, and control. So there are many um, things that can be addressed uh, in this uh, broad um, issue of environmental sustainability and resiliency. So geoenvironmental engineering uh, can offer a lot of uh, solutions. Uh, geoenvironmental engineering is a multidisciplinary field. Um, you need to have a geotechnical engineering background um, and you know, some additional background uh, related to environmental engineering or uh, geochemistry, hydrogeology, microbiology, those kind of things. Um, even if you are in an environmental engineering major, you know you need some background on geotechnical engineering, geochemistry, hydrogeology, and hydrogeology, those kind of things. In addition to that, you know we really need to have a background on uh, environmental justice, uh, economic uh, issues, uh, systems engineering, and also awareness of loss and other things. So it's a really a, a multidisciplinary technical uh, uh, approach, but uh, it's very exciting. I mean. Um, if you are a geotechnical engineering uh, major, you know, all the things that you learned in geotechnical engineering will come to use. Uh, almost everything that you learned can be applied in geoenvironmental engineering. Um, and, but you need a little bit more than what you learned in geotechnical engineering, and that learning more is, uh, you know, um, is not that difficult. You know, you could take courses or you could... Uh, attend short courses uh, and you can read yourself. Uh, and uh, as you make you know, progress in doing research, you know, eventually you're gonna learn all these different things. And when you get involved in projects, working with multidisciplinary teams, you know, you're gonna understand the broader issues uh, such as you know, environmental justice, economic issues, like you know, how do you integrate everything, uh, systems approach. So, um, at, uh, you know, um, it is very exciting field, and uh, you know the best part of this is, you know, whatever you do, you know, is uh, um, can make the difference uh, in practice and in uh, quality of life and uh, protecting the environment uh, right away. 
uh, solutions are needed urgently and they can be implemented right away. So geo-environmental engineering is very essential for environmental protection and sustainability. And there are many opportunities for fundamental and applied research because this is a relatively new field. Um, and this is good news for uh, all graduate students and the young faculty because uh, unlike uh, you know, traditional fields, you know, uh, this is just emerging fields, so a lot of opportunities to do research and um, not only doing the research, but you can apply the research in real world, uh, solving the real world problems. So I show this slide uh, to show how geo environmental engineering is to be written. So the last one is the correct way to write it. Uh, so please make a note of it. So whenever you write geo environmental engineering, you know, write it in the right way. And uh, regarding the uh, geo environmental engineering, uh, there are a lot of challenges and opportunities. Uh, you can watch this uh, recorded uh, YouTube video to know, you know. Um, a uh, little bit understanding of uh, what are the challenges, opportunities. Um, and also uh, we organized a, a Zoom meeting uh, with several panelists. Um, they all offered advice for students interested in geo-environmental geo engineering. It's a uh, great start, you know, if you are just getting into this field, uh, look at this video and a little bit longer, but uh, you can uh, watch it in bits and pieces, um, but it gives you very good information from um, different panelists. And as I mentioned, you can view those uh, previously held webinars uh, on this general engineering webinars uh, YouTube channel. Um, and, you know, especially, you know, if you don't know anything about a particular topic, just listen to that. Um, I know we tend to focus on uh, what we are interested in, what we are doing right now, but uh, not, uh, you know, look at other things, but I would suggest you to look at the webinar on a topic that you are not familiar with. So you may get some new ideas. I think, you know, uh, you may bring a new perspective, a uh, new type of solution to solving that problem. So I highly recommend you to uh, look at these things. So um, these webinars are held, uh, you know, every week and uh, we have been having participants from uh, uh, many countries uh, and even from remote areas. So it's a great way to network and uh, learn um, and uh, pursue uh, careers in geo-environmental engineering. And more than that, uh, um, address the problems of geo-environmental engineering and uh, make the difference in, in uh, uh, quality of life for people and also protect the environment. So uh, that's basically a, a brief um, overview of uh, uh, the webinars. Um, I hope you will uh, keep attending the, the webinars and uh, keep learning more. Uh, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to uh, you know, listen to this and uh, look forward to seeing you online at uh, one of the future webinars. Thank you so much, bye.